why can't I save money? I earn so much money, but where in the universe is money going, right? This is a question which baffles people because people today, they are earning much more. You go and ask your father or your grandfather <laughs> or even if your mother or grandmother uh, were working, you go and ask them, all four of them, hey, how much money were you earning <coughs> when you were 25? Just go and ask them. And, and you, you take that number in today's inflation rate. You take it. I'm not saying now they will say, oh, I used to earn one rupee. But that one rupee was much bigger. Okay. Compared. I mean, that was not just one rupee because inflation, you know, in India, like 6%, 7%, sometimes even more than that. So you, you compound that money. Okay. And you see, it will still be very, very, very less compared to what... <coughs> you get today as a 25 year old or maybe 25 is still less you know let's take 30 years okay you have your master's degree mba ms m tech and all this <coughs> and you have a very well paying job now compare it with your father grandfather grandmother mother uncle 30 years 60 years back okay that was like peanuts even if you take inflation adjusted numbers just do it okay now, why is it happening? Because the people today, they have so many desires, but the money's capacity is limited. Now, why are their desires increasing? Why are materialistic desires increasing? Now, nothing wrong in having materialistic desires. But if the desires are increasing to such an extent that you are foaming in the mouth and trying to make ends meet and you are living paycheck to paycheck then there is some serious crisis in your habits okay so therefore you have to understand what is the fundamental problem the fundamental problem is your desires are not letting you sleep in the night because you have unrealistic dreams okay now why do you have unrealistic dreams because the people in 2024, they have lost touch with the spiritual side. Now, Jivera Swaru, or rather, let me quote this shloka, which is there in the Vedanta Sutra. You know, Raso Vai Saha, the absolute truth is the, uh, is like the source of all pleasure. Okay. But the Vedanta Sutra also says, Athato Brahma Jigyasa. Okay. Which means the spirit soul is habituated to pleasure. So, if you do not have higher spiritual consciousness, then you are bound to look for pleasure in materialistic things. So, what you do is you keep hopping from one thing to the other. In India, you are 25 years, 23 years, you did your engineering. You got a job of 3 lakhs, then after 2 years, oh, 7 lakhs. Then after, after 2 years, <coughs> 15 lakhs. Then by the time you're 30, oh, my job is 25 lakhs, okay. Mm -hmm. By the time you're 35, oh, I reached 50 lakhs. <laughs> now, what's happening is, you are taking life through this, um, you have this milestone obsession. Because... Inherently, there is your heart is very empty because you are not happy because the soul, which is you, me, and everybody else, because we are not this body, we are spirit soul, as Lord Krishna says, you are not this body, you are spirit soul. So, the spirit spirit soul, which is the Atma, cannot be happy without anything, which means you will either need something material. Or you will need something spiritual. Now, you can also have best of the both. But you must have one of the two. You cannot do without one of them. Any of them. You must have at least one. So now, in the last 20-30 years, <clears throat> because of our society's upbringing, 
Why only 2030? Maybe you know the last hundred years, you know, industrial revolution, films, uh, addictions, alcohol, nudity, uh, pornography, you know, over glamorization of sex. You know, uh, then this non-vegetarian food. You know, smoking, drinking, violence. You know, this all the gun culture. So all these things have contributed us, contributed in our minds and they have compelled us to believe that the only reason why you are not happy is because you don't have this or that. Okay. <laughs> now, what happens then? You cannot maintain your commitments if that is how you are living your life. So, I know people uh, in, in Germany, here in uh, Europe, and maybe even in India, from India, okay, who have come here. And the only aim that they have is to change a company in 12 months. So after 12 months, okay, another job, 12 months, another, they'll get a pay raise of 50%. So by doing that, they have reached, you know, some uh, like 100,000 euros or 150,000 euros by the time they are 35 or something like that. <coughs> and with uh, the opposite sex also, okay, now I have one relationship, you enjoy with somebody else, then with else, 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 every six months they want a different person, okay. <laughs> so because of this, what is happening is, they are moving like a dog, like a donkey from one thing to the other, but they have no happiness, happiness inside, because they are very dry, because all these things, they all these materialistic things, they are like, or would they say? Yeah, it's like the old wine in a new glass, okay? So you move, you go to one job, you feel nice, six months, you know, and then after six months, it's like, yeah, it's the same people, you know? <laughs> then you move to another job. Oh, very nice. They give you iPhone, they give you a MacBook, and then they're like, ah, it's just all the same. <laughs> Oh, you're a boy, you have a new girlfriend, ah, nice, exciting times, romantic times. And then after six months, oh, bored with this girl, oh, now I need another one. <laughs> so you are doing this again and again and again. Every two, three years, you are changing your jobs, you are changing your partners, you, you're becoming like dogs and donkeys, basically. No, nothing wrong in changing your jobs but what I'm trying to tell here is that life in life you can have materialistic things nothing wrong with it absolutely nothing wrong but that cannot be or other that should not be your primary focus that has to be a very important focus in your life but your primary focus in life should be your spiritual development because Prahlad Maharaj says in the Srimad Bhagavatam, 7th Canto, Prahlad Maharaj, you can pick up the 7th Canto and read, he's telling, just like misery, unhappiness comes without doing anything. Similarly, happiness also comes without doing anything. Oh, wow, this is contradictory with the philosophy of karma, right? Because if you do nothing, how will you create karma? If you don't create karma, how will you get results, right? Even Krishna tells in the Gita, right? Do your actions and leave the results. So, Pralan Maharaj here is not telling you that go and sit and uh, uh, do nothing. What he's trying to tell you is do not over endeavor, atyahar, prayas, do not do this, okay? And if you do this, then you will feel very empty inside. You will feel very uh, disheartened and very low inside. You'll have low self-esteem because you will base your life on the validation of external events which may turn out in your favor sometimes or which may not turn out in your favor sometimes, right? <clears throat> so once you do this, then what happens is life becomes like a roller coaster. So today you have a decent job, tomorrow you have a better job, so you get a good car. Then you have you have a better car. Then you have Mercedes. Then one day you do this, that, you buy, you know, Lamborghini or whatever. But what's happening is something is constant, which is your inner 
emptiness because the connection to God is not there. And because of that, you, whatever you are earning, you are not saving. You are just wasting and you are just, you know, you are just, you are just spending it because you want to buy things which you don't need with money that you don't have by taking loans and EMIs to impress people that you hate. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so therefore, please have some spiritual practice in your life, especially every day morning. Read some religious uh, text like the Bhagavad Gita, Srimad Bhagavatam, <clears throat> the Ramayana, the Mahabharata. Then try to take uh, food that you offer to God without meat, fish, and eggs, and without onion and garlic. And also try to uh, visit. A spiritual community in the weekends okay that will give you meaning to your life that will make your life more happy that will uh, bring fulfillment to your soul and then whatever money you earn most of the money you will be saving you can invest it into stock market real estate cryptocurrency you can invest it into bonds you can invest in fixed deposits whatever that's a separate discussion but you can grow your money and you can have control over it. And then within 15-20 years of your work, you can retire and uh, have the money. Okay. So therefore, if you do not do this, then you will be working till the time you are 80-85. Okay. And somebody may say, oh, what's wrong in working till 80-85? Well, nothing wrong in working, but the Vedic scriptures say that after 50, we should take vanaprast, which means we should start dedicating our life more for spirituality. As a husband and wife, we should <coughs> uh, we should uh, travel to different holy places and you know uh, encourage other people and inspire other people also. And then later on, sannyas. Of course, that's not a mandate for everybody. But what is important is that we cultivate spiritual wisdom or else we will feel very dry and empty inside. Alright? Thank you so much for your patience. And if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And for consultations, you can always go to my website. God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will surely find him.